Good afternoon and welcome to worship this Christmas Eve at First Congregational Church, United Church of Christ in downtown Columbus, Ohio. It is good to be together to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Welcome to this service. I am glad that you have joined us. And we believe that no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. I'm joined today by the, in the leadership of worship by Reverend Emily Krause Corzine, our associate minister, Mr. Mark Williams, our minister, our director of Christian education, Mr. Kevin Jones, our minister of music, and Mr. Peter Murray, who is our live stream engineer. I am Tim Ahrens, the senior minister here. Together we will be joined by the preschoolers and kindergartners and first graders of First Church in leading this service, which is for everyone. I want to thank as well the family of Alan and Francine Files as they celebrate uh, with us the lighting of the Advent candles and the Christ candle, the Christmas candle today. And finally, thanks to all those who contributed to the beautiful setting of poinsettias as we gather for this special service. Today, join in on the Christmas carols, sing along, and join in receiving the Christmas story as you delight with joy in the birth of Christ. Join us now as we step into Christmas. Let us celebrate the presence of our newborn Christ. Our sovereign and savior now draws near. Oh, come, let us adore him. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. To us a child is born, to us a son is given. His name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Everlasting God, Prince of Peace. God be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O oh God, you make us glad by the yearly festival of the birth of your only Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that we, who have been born again and made your children by adoption and grace, may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit through our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom with you and the same Spirit be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen.
We call him the Prince of Peace. So as we come to this day of his birth, we celebrate that the peace that he gives us is a peace that passes all understanding. So I invite you now, wherever you are, to pass the peace of Christ with one another. May the peace of Christ be with you. And also with you. Let us pass the peace. Rejoice, people of God. The light has come into the world. Today, we relight four candles representing the four weeks of Advent as we awaited the blessed hope of our Savior, Jesus Christ. These candles symbolize gifts these candles symbolize gifts of Jesus Christ to us. Hope, peace, joy, and love. I thought it was Now today we light the Christ candle. made real in the Son of God, come to earth at Christmas. In Christ, the grace of God has appeared, bringing the good news of salvation for all. Rejoice, people of God, Moses. The light has come into the world. With the company of heaven and with sounds of great joy, God comes to us. God has been born among us. Let us pray. God, our life and light, thank you for coming this day to us. Thank you for touching all heaven and earth with your splendor. In every corner of the world, shine with your peace. In every corner of our hearts, shine with your grace. Amen.
this afternoon, we normally would have in our family service a chancel full of children, and we do miss them so. But we do have our preschool kindergartners and our first graders to give to us a gift of the ABCs of Christmas. Watch and join with them. Welcome to our Christmas play. One of the first things we learn is our ABCs. What better way to learn them than with a Christmas theme? We hope you enjoy our show. A is for angel appearing so bright, telling of Jesus stuff that first Christmas night. Bethlehem, crowded and old, birthplace of Jesus by prophet foretold. D is for David and ancient throne. He prompts forever for Jesus alone. E is for East, where shone the bright star. Miss Magi on camels followed afar. Joseph in a nocturnal dream. I is for Emmanuel, God with us, for Christ brought man back to the Father's house. Thy blood done to hope. God, God is thus in no hope. M is 
is for Mary. Her mother's of faith. Counting God faithful. My day to save. Shepherd to herd, hasten to act on the heavenly word. Times of joy, not of danger, not of danger, telling of him, telling of him who laid in a manger, who laid in a manger. Prophecies page. W is for wonderful. Um, his works. His works and his words. The King of all kings.
Zeus for Zeal that borns in Christ's heart, Lord by the Spirit, to us Zeal and Pop. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration that was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 2, verses 8 through 14. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth, peace among those whom he favors. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 2, verses 15 through 20. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. God of unimaginable love, on this holy night, we celebrate your birth among us as a human child. We celebrate alongside Mary and Joseph, who through their everyday work of parenting became part of your story of salvation. On the first Christmas, there was no room for them in the inn. Protect with your love those in our community who have no home tonight, who are living under bridges, in abandoned buildings, or living in shelters. We pray especially for homeless families with babies who bear the fragility of new life in hard and anxious times. The Messiah came with the sign of a star shining in the night. Bring light to those who are suffering from sickness, who endure pain in mind or body, especially those who are spending Christmas in the hospital. Jesus was born in a stable, surrounded by the animals. He came as a savior for all. Bring your healing and peace to our relationship with the earth. Renew our sense of the holy and give wisdom to treat the world with respect and care. The angels came with a message of good news in a troubled time. We need your good news, O God, in the troubled parts of our lives, with family ties that are strained or broken. We need your good news in our war-filled and pandemic-filled world. We also pray for Bethlehem this night, for Palestine and Israel and all places where walls are of many kinds divide your people. The shepherds were commissioned to spread tidings of great joy, a joy that can reach even those sitting in the shadow of death. And we remember those who we love that have died. Comfort those who mourn and all who are missing loved ones. May we know in the depth of our souls that you, O God, are truly with us. Illumine our path with the light of Christ's presence that we may see the way before us, 
the truth to speak and the life to live in his name. May we carry the light and hope of Christ out of this place and into the world. We pray all of this in your Son's name. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Today, as we come to this time of offering, we receive an offering that our church receives every single Christmas day and every Christmas Eve. It is called the United Church Christmas Fund, and it goes to support clergy, pastors, laity who have served our church through the generations. Just six days ago, one of my friends and mentors passed to eternal life. The Reverend Dr. Herb Getz, was for a lifetime, for 60 years, a servant of God in the United Church of Christ. As a chaplain, he chose combat duty in Vietnam to reach those most in need. And then when he retired from 30 years of chaplaincy, he returned to Columbus, Ohio, the state of his birth, to serve one congregation after another to help them through. I think of Herb because his father before him was a pastor, and both men gave their lives for the life of the church. To me, this is the easiest offering of the year to give to. Emily and all who serve, all the pastors of this church through the generations, everyone who has touched your life has needs in retirement, and this helps them to make it. Most of them haven't received a good enough pay during their lifetime of service. They've done it in love. So your generosity to go to the prompt to give, your generosity to mail in a check, or your generosity to hit the QR code and give to the Christmas fund makes a world of difference for the families who live on. Thank you for all of the men and women who have served this denomination so lovingly and faithfully and thank you to you this Christmas for your generosity.
Holy God, you came to earth to show us how to live. Bless us in this holy season and brighten our hearts with the light of Christ. Glory to God in the highest. Holy God, you sent your angels to proclaim your birth. Fill us with joy and make us heralds of the gospel. Glory to God in the highest. Holy God, in the word made flesh, you joined heaven to earth and earth to heaven. Grant us your peace. Glory to God in the highest. Jesus is born. God is with us. Let us go forth rejoicing in the love of God and the peace of Christ. Glory, Glory to God, God in the highest. highest.